Hey, it's Ken here with UAV Coach. Welcome back to our Can I Fly My Drone series. This week, we're going to answer the question, can I fly my drone at the beach? So let's dive in. This question has come up often, can I fly my drone at the beach? So let's dive in to what might be at play here. First, because there's generally a lot of people at the beach, let's start with part 107.39, which is operation over human beings. 107.39 states that no person may operate a small unmanned aircraft over a human being unless they're directly participating in the operation or they're under a covered structure or in a stationary vehicle or the operation meets one of the categories under subpart D of part 107. The FAA did just recently revise the waiver requirements for operations over people and moving vehicles, making it almost certain to get approval if you have a drone that is 399 grams or less with prop guards installed, an anti-collision light even during the day, and functioning remote ID capability. It's no longer a daunting task to get the waiver. Just go to the FAA's Drone Zone website and see our previous video about flying over people for more details about this. The next item that a drone pilot needs to consider is whether the area is in controlled or class B, C, D, or E, or uncontrolled class G airspace. There are several areas along the US coastlines where there are airports with controlled airspace. So if you're planning to fly at a beach, or anywhere for that matter, make sure you know the type of airspace you'll be flying in and get FAA authorization through Lance if you'll be in controlled airspace. Also keep in mind that there may be restricted or prohibited airspace along the beach, such as near Vandenberg Air Force Base and, and Space Force Base in California. This area has a Department of Defense National Security UAS flight restriction or an NSUFR that prohibits drone operations. You also need to be aware that there are many beach areas that are in a national park, a national wilderness area, or a wildlife refuge, etc. There can be restrictions from taking off or landing your drone in these areas, or in the case of the Monterey Bay Marine Sanctuary in California, there's an airspace restriction that prohibits the operation of motorized aircraft, including model aircraft, quadcopters, drones, etc., below 1,000 feet. This is a restricted area that's shown on the sectional chart and also in the airspace apps like air control or autopilot, etc. If you're a drone pilot, you should have one of these apps to check airspace and to get FAA authorization for flying in controlled airspace. So can you fly your drone at the beach? It depends on which beach you're planning to fly at and if there are lots of people at the beach. You need to be aware of and comply with part 107.39 or if it's only a recreational flight, USC 44809. Both require that you do not fly over people who are not involved in your operation unless you have a waiver or you can meet all of the requirements of that part. You also need to comply with airspace rules under part 107.41 to obtain FAA authorization through Lance or other means and make sure you know if there are other ground or airspace restrictions. So your pro tip is if you plan to fly your drone at a beach, plan ahead and make sure you have good situational awareness of the area. If there are always a lot of people at the beach, you may wanna fly somewhere else or find a time that is less busy to avoid flying over people. If you can't avoid it, make sure you have a waiver or that you can meet the requirements of category one. So let us know in the comments if you have a can I fly my drone question so that we can cover it in a future video. Also hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button as well so that you'll be notified of upcoming content. Thanks for watching and from all of us here at UAV Coach, we wish you blue skies and safe flying. We'll see you soon.